Hey everybody, it's Julie, and welcome to the 12th and final day of the 12 Tags of Christmas. I'm going to be making these really fun uh, shaker tags, and I'm using the Tag Trio set because it has these really large oversized tag dies, and they're going to be perfect for this. So I am going to cut the largest of the tags out of Nina's Solar White 80 pound, and I also, I didn't realize I didn't have the camera on when I did this, but I also die cut it from some Essentials uh, Clear crystal clear plastic and that's going to be the window so the same shape is cut out of cardstock and also cut out of acetate so it's kind of like the back of my shaker and the top of my shaker <laughs> and then I need to create the window now I'm going to nest the other size die this is kind of a rectangle shape with the rounded corners there and I'm going to use a piece of press and seal to anchor these in place onto a quarter sheet of Nina Solar White. Now you could use washi tape if you want but I found that this press and seal if you don't have some in your craft room you need to scuttle on down to the grocery store and get yourself some because it's awesome. It's going to anchor that uh, set of dies in place and then I can repeat die cutting that exact same shape lickety split out of more uh, quarter sheets of cardstock. I'm just going to pop uh, the little um, holes, the chads there out of the holes. And then I'm going to lay that right over the top of another quarter sheet. And as long as I'm only going this many layers thick, it doesn't matter that um, the die is attached to another piece of cardstock with that press and seal. It's going to be um, plenty of pressure to die cut that next shape out. And then I'll just remove that one and I'll just keep going. And you can do this so fast. So I'm going to actually have a stack of these done so fast. And there you can see my full size tags um, and then the ones that have the window opening. And I duck cut probably four or five of these, at least five. Um, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Anyway, I'm going to do my stamping and decorating on the back panel. So I'm just going to line up my stamp here. And it kind of helps to take the window layer and determine where that's going to uh, appear there inside the window. So I just wanted to make sure I was getting it on straight and I didn't have it like all cattywampus or too far over to one side. And I'm using the Mini Misty to get that lined up and stamped. So if you were doing uh, multiples of these, man, that's the way to go. You can just pop those puppies out. So now I'm going to grab some water-based dye ink. This is by Catherine Pooler. This color is called Samba and it's a lovely, lovely red. To me, it's kind of like the truest Christmas red in ink that I have come across so far. So Samba. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to stamp it twice because I really wanted to get uh, more saturation of that color. So I just stamped it twice. And then I'm going to grab the pine bough from the holiday sprig set and put that onto a block and use uh, Catherine Pooler's Martini, which is a really nice green ink. I thought it was perfect for these uh, pine boughs. And I'm just going to rotate that around. I'm just using the mini Misty there as a platform so I have the support and cushion um, when I'm stamping. But because I'm rotating that tag really quickly, um, I did not use the lid of the Misty to actually stamp. I used an acrylic block. That's just so much faster for me. So now um, I've done the berries there in that same Samba color to just kind of accent those branches. And then I'm going to dust off a piece of red cardstock. I think this one's called Red Lips. I have scraps in my scrap bin, and this is Basil card shop. It's nice and smooth, but it's a heavier weight, like a hundred pound. But I always have these scraps and I'm like, oh, this is going to be perfect for what I wanted to do. So I've grabbed the ho, ho, ho set, um, sentiment from the uh, Tag It Christmas set. And I'm going to ink that up with Versamark. Now I prepped the surface um, first with an anti-static powder and then brush that off with my uh, Clean Sweep Tonic Brush. I love that thing. I need to get a second one for sweeping off my work surface because <laughs> I use that thing all the time. And uh, I'm going to stamp these in a row, two rows, just all the way up as far as I can go. I did want to have something to hang on to, so I kind of stopped there about a, an inch away from the top there. And then I'm going to put some Detail White Embossing Powder over the top and just make sure I've got everything covered. I do this a lot of times actually when I teach live classes where I need to have sentiments already pre-stamped and ready for people to trim out. So this is just something I carry over into my own <laughs> card making and tag making, especially when I have to mass produce something. It's like, bam, get those all done. And then we can trim them out lickety split. So I'm just gonna grab my tonic bypass trimmer and just very quickly 
get all those cut into a nice little pile. And I tried to be pretty even with my stamping, but you know, if it's a little cattywampus, it's okay. Then I grabbed my scissors and just quickly split those in half. That was faster than using even the trimmer. So now I'm gonna start assembling things. I'm gonna take the first of those open frames that I made and just gonna run some white glue. Now, Art Institute's glitter uh, glue works really well for this because it sets up really fast um, and it's a nice strong bonding glue and it also works with plastic. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, um, and it dries clear. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down that first frame and then I'm gonna add more glue and I'm gonna continue adding all these frames and build up those layers. So I'm not using foam tape this time around for my tag because I would have had to cut really super skinny strips of foam tape and I didn't have any. Um, you can buy them, I guess, pre-made, but I didn't have any and I didn't wanna mess with that. And I also, you have to deal with the corners there. And I was like, oh man, this is just easier um, when you're dealing with something, you know, with thin edges like this. So I'm just going to keep layering this up. This goes about as fast as it would if I were working with foam tape and trying to cut the foam tape down um, to make the box that's going to hold the shaker material. So that's about four or five layers deep. Um, you decide. I wouldn't go any fewer than four if you're working with 80-pound cardstock. And then... Um, I'm going to start laying down my pieces. So I added my sequins, those pretty uh, super shine silver stars I thought would be super sparkly and pretty in there. And then I'm going to be careful not to overstuff this. And I added three of those ho, ho, ho. It's kind of a DIY word confetti for my shaker here. And then I need to add a more glue here on the top. And I reserved one of those uh, frames. It's going to be the crowning, you know, glory on top of the tag, but I'm going to first put my acetate or my crystal clear plastic layer here uh, first. And luckily, because um, it's got that hole punch and it's the exact same shape, I don't have to worry about punching a hole through that plastic. It was already done um, when I cut the shape with the die. So now I can go ahead and add more glue and then I'm going to grab that uh, last frame and get that over the top. Now, it is a little bit slippery, so I like to kind of anchor it there with my tweezers and kind of use my fingers to guide it down onto the tag itself. And then you need to be a little bit patient. After you've pressed around, um, some of the glue might squidge out the sides. I'm just using the edge of my tweezers to scrape that excess glue away, and I have a a baby wipe off camera that I'm using to clean that up. And then I had that extra piece, that extra tag, and I saved it and I stamped some more stuff on it. So I actually ended up with two tags for the price of one, which is always good because everybody's always stealing my tags at the holidays. With Mom, you got any tags? I need to wrap this and tag this. And they steal all my tags. So <laughs> I got to have extra so that there's some left for me to actually use. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of Baker's twine there. I love that that peppermint stripe looks so cute with this shaker tag and it turned out adorable. This is one of those tags that you could actually turn something like this into an ornament for your tree because it's very um, sturdy and uh, I think it's fun. And there you can see what I did with the other tag that was left over and I just added a little holly sprig and some stickles. That's my super uh, quick and easy way to add a little bit of sparkle to something. That stickles in diamond is awesome. And I hope that inspired you for your fun shaker holiday tag card making. And thanks for watching. Merry Christmas.